Bun is set out to be an incredibly fast JavaScript runtime, which you should imagine as a future possible alternative to Node.js. You can think of a runtime as a program that transforms your code into something your computer would understand. At the time of this recording, Bun is still meant to be run on a Linux system, but we can make it work in Windows using WSL, or Windows Subsystem for Linux, basically a way to execute Linux commands inside a Windows shell. So to avoid any possible errors, I'm gonna ask you guys to try and update Windows 10 to its latest possible version. With that being said, one way to install WSL is open up your PowerShell as an administrator, run the following command, which I'm gonna leave in the description. Once it's done, you can restart your machine and I'll be waiting for you to come back. Now open up your Windows Store and download the Ubuntu. No LTS versions, just a regular app. Once the download is complete, open it up, wait for it to be initialized, insert your new username and its associated password. Now we're going to run a few commands to update Linux. The first one is the update command, followed shortly by the upgrade command. I'm going to leave both of them in the description anyways. The unzip command is also required to install Bun, which I completely forgot. So we're going to make up for it by installing it now. You can now navigate to the Bun website and you can find in plain view a link to download its latest installation. You can now go back to Ubuntu, use the right click to paste the command, you copy it from the website, and the download should begin shortly. Since Bun is not really your standard APT package, we're gonna need to manually add a few lines to the bashrc file so that we can use it inside Linux. Once Vim is opened up, you can use the double square brackets to navigate to the bottom of the page and press O to insert a new line. We can now paste the export lines again with a right click. Once you're done, you can press ESC followed by colon WQ to quit and save the file. Before we can run Bun, we need to make a last adjustment to our WSL version. We basically need our Ubuntu to be running on the second WSL version. You can check which version you're running by writing WSL-L-V inside PowerShell. You will now see a list of all the Linux distros installed in your system. This is the place where your Docker, for example, may appear. We're gonna need to update our Linux kernel, which I'm gonna highly advise you to do by running WSL-Update. So my Ubuntu is already running on the second version on WSL. You can see it by the prompt. If you want to run Ubuntu on WSL version 2, you can run the following command, which I'm gonna leave in the description. Okay, moment of truth. Restart Ubuntu and check if BUN was installed by running commands such as BUN-V, which will tell us the version, and BUN upgrade to switch to a later one. Now, you might expect different outputs here. In the first one, everything works fine and BUN upgrades correctly. In that case, you're just good to go. Second case, you encounter something like illegal statement or illegal instruction. You may want to try and update WSL at this point, but basically it has been noted that BUN does not seem to run well certain CPUs yet. You may want to try to Google around, but you could also just wait at this point. Luckily BUN is still a work in progress and you should expect updates. In the third case, BUN will tell us to either run WSL2 or to upgrade to a newer Linux kernel. You may want to update Windows again at this point and run WSL-update again. Feel free to write in the comments any questions in case it didn't work. I'm gonna hope everything went fine and we're gonna go ahead. Now from our home directory, we're gonna create a folder and make our first bun test. We're gonna now cd into the folder and open Visual Studio Code by writing code dot. Note that the download might begin at this point. VS Code should open up automatically. And at this point, we're gonna create a new file, call it http.js. And we're gonna paste some boilerplate code that we can find in the bun website. Once you've pasted it, open up the terminal with control tilde. This is a Linux terminal, so we can run any commands in here. We can run the application by writing bun run http.js or whichever way you call the file. Expect no output here as it's completely normal. If everything went fine, you can navigate to localhost on port 3000 and see that the server is working. So I hope everything went pretty okay in all of this. For any questions, write in the comments and I'll be glad to help you as far as I can. If you want to see a basic example, stay around, as in my next video I'm gonna write a button application that will interact with an SQLite database. Thanks for watching and have a great day.